Hey, what's up YouTube? Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Vince Evin, a professional wedding and portrait photographer and also a filmmaker. In today's video, I'm going to give you seven tips that are going to enable you to take better portraits. Number one, lighting. Lighting plays a very huge role in your creative journey. If you're indoors, you can use window light because it creates soft highlights and shadows. If you're outdoors, you can use a reflector or just your camera and your lens, depending on your location and the available natural light in that particular scene. You can also use a flash. It could be a strobe or an on-camera flash. If you're indoors where the bride is being done makeup, you can use a flash and bounce light off to your white ceiling. Lighting is a tool that is going to enable you to tell a better story because with lighting, you can create soft shadows if you want to tell a journalistic story or you can also use lighting to create deep shadows to have a dramatic feel to the portraits. So it depends with the theme of your portraits and what you want to achieve with that particular scene and project and the kind of story that you want to tell. If you're finding this video helpful please subscribe to this channel right now for similar content tip number two pre-plan your shoot you know when you go to Instagram or Pinterest you'll get some rough ideas of what you want to achieve this way you're able to visualize better your purpose and vision for that particular shoot and you're able to remember the things that you will forget maybe you will forget to carry an 85 millimeter lens which is very essential in creating those amazing portraits look for inspiration look for ideas see what other photographers have done this way you're able to position yourself and create a unique portrait when you look for inspiration you get amazing ideas Ideas. you can expound on the ideas you can have a different twist and you are able to create amazing portraits tip number three be intentional with your location location plays a huge role in telling your story when you're doing your portrait outdoors you can do it maybe in a field in a park where there are trees and awesome leaves and flowers. This way you'll be able to get amazing background and the background will be out of focus. So the portraits are going to turn out to be more dreamy and feel soft and awesome. And many photographers who are coming up overlook this component, which will enable you to tell a better story, to tell an awesome story, a unique story. It could be in a garage where there are old cars. You can be able to create such an amazing fashion portrait. Tip number four, to take better photographs. Time of day. Your time of day will determine how your photo will look. Assuming you're doing a portrait project at 12 noon. At 12, you have harsh and deep shadows, which maybe is not what you're looking for. So the best time to create amazing portraits, it could be early in the morning during sunrise or later in the evening during sunset. The sun is not too harsh. This way you're going to get soft shadows and your subject is going to stand out more from the background and you're going to have that buttery, dreamy, creamy portrait, which will be amazing. And you have soft tones, you have amazing color in the background, like the yellow sunset color. This is a very good time to create amazing portraits. Your portraits are going to have a unique feel and they're going to feel natural and dreamy. Tip number five that is very essential to creating amazing portraits. Think about your composition. Composition also plays a very important role. With your composition, you're able to tell a unique story. The elements within your composition, the distance between you and the subject is going to enable you to tell a better story. Tip number six, use the right lens to tell your story. For instance, the 85mm focal length would enable you to tell a story that would appear as if it was taken by a telephoto lens or also it will enable you to compose your shot perfectly and your subject is going to be separated from the background as opposed to using a 28mm which is wide and probably could distort the face of your subject. If you want to know more about the 85mm focal length, I have a video linked up here and also down below in the description. You can click the link and learn more about why the 85mm 
is a very good portrait lens. Tip number seven, lock your settings before the moment happens. In this scene, the model was being done makeup. I knew I wanted to capture a shot of the complete process of the makeup when it is done and also include the elements of the moisture from the setting spray. So I quickly rushed and placed a small light behind the model and I was able to capture a very amazing and cinematic shot of the model plus the moisture from the spray. So locking your settings gives you the freedom to create more and think more about the creative aspect of the photograph as opposed to wanting to adjust your settings after every frame that way you're going to waste a lot of time you're going to lose track in regards to your creativity so you want to be as efficient and consistent as possible so that also when it comes to post-production you're able to deliver in time if you're finding this video helpful please subscribe to this channel right now for similar content bonus tip that is going to enable you create better portraits use different angles when you use different angles you're telling your story in a unique and candid and journalistic manner you're able to have maybe a close-up of the bride wearing the veil and also a wide shot of her doing the same this way when you're coming to the album you're going to have like representation and details of a particular scene you're able to tell a better story compared to relying on one particular angle to get a shot the last bonus tip for you guys think about the printables it could be the frames it could be the album when you do this you're able to create candid portraits that are so beautiful with the vision in mind most of your shots are going to make sense and you're going to be efficient even during the selection process of the photographs that you're going to use Used in the albums and in the frames. You are able to tell a unique and journalistic story that is going to wow your clients. Question of the day, which tip are you going to utilize first in your next session? Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell and I can't wait to see you again in the next video. Cheers.